Hey everyone and welcome to another Nielsen Networking video. In this video we're going to continue with our virtualization series and specifically in this we're going to focus on VirtualBox and we're going to focus on VirtualBox networking and this is critical if you plan to have multiple virtual machines inside your VirtualBox um, infrastructure. If you followed along in any, with any of my other videos, we've done Kali Linux on VirtualBox, we've done Windows 10 on VirtualBox, we've done a Nessus Vulnerability Scanner running on uh, CentOS in VirtualBox, and without a virtual network, all of those devices, they may be able to ping each other, but they're not going to be able to do much else. So what we need to do is create a virtual network and assign them all to that virtual network. So that is what we're going to do now. And if you have missed out on any of those other videos, go ahead and check out the links at the end of the video to um, go ahead and check those out and get kind of uh, up to date on where we're at if you haven't been watching. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and go out to VirtualBox of all things. Go figure. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to get rid of that because that's annoying. And you're going to want to go to the Tools tab. And it's probably going to default to here. But what you're going to want to do is drop down to Network. And you're going to want to go to NAT Networks, and you're going to want to do Create. And here you're going to want to name it, and name it whatever you want. I would leave the IP version 4 prefix at the at this, the IP range it's at. If you needed to change it, go ahead. You could you can literally put whatever you want here. Um, but the default should be good enough because we're going to be using NAT, and it will not interfere with your your host. And since you're going to be assigning all your other virtual machines to it, unless you've assigned static IPs to these, if as long as they're all getting DHCP, they will have no problem, and they'll all be, they'll all get an automatic new DHCP number on the new network we're creating. So that will be great. If you do happen to assign a um, static IP, you can do one of two things. Obviously, you can go in and assign it a new static IP on this subnet, um, or you could just enable it for uh, DHCP. So that that. That's how you would do it. You would apply it. We're almost done, believe it or not. And then the only other thing you need to do is go to each virtual machine in your network, go to settings, go down to network, and you would change it to your network. Now, I already have a VirtualBox network set up here. Um, but if you didn't, as soon as you change this from NAT, which it will be set to at default, to NAT network, it's going to pre-fill in your new network. So it will save you a step where I have to actually drop down because I do have a, a network already. You won't have to do that. You do need to go through and select this for all of the devices, settings, network, change it to you what you want. Uh, not network, I'm sorry, down here under name, put it to that one. I'm not going to do that. And then you would finally um, do that for your last one. And when you're done, all you got to do is fire them up and they'll all be on the same network. And that is literally all there is to it. It's a very important step, though. Um, it's even something you may want to do as soon as you configure your um, VirtualBox net network. Set up that VirtualBox. I'm sorry, not your VirtualBox network. Your VirtualBox infrastructure. Set up the VirtualBox network. Um, okay, that's all I had to say. Short video, as I promised. Just needed to get that out there for those of you that have been continuing along and maybe into trouble not seeing those other devices. We did go over it during the Nessus video, but you might not have caught on to that or you might have skipped forward and you now you're at a point where it's not working. So check it out. Um, if you like this video, I would love a like. Um, I'd even appreciate even more a subscribe so we can try to build that up and I can get more content out to you and you could enjoy that as well. So you know what? Have a great day. Talk to you later.